Hi guys, welcome back. Well today I just want to do a mini review of a mascara that I have been using and enjoying a lot recently. And this is Benefit's Bad Girl Lash Mascara. Um, this is a really nice mascara. It applies very easily to the eyelashes. I don't find the formula to be either too wet or too dry, which makes it quite easy to work with. And also if it happens to smudge, it's quite easy to clean up and it doesn't create a huge mess everywhere. Um, I do find that it's important to set under the eye area quite well with maybe a setting powder. I like to use something like the e.l.f. High Definition Under Eye Setting Powder and that just helps to prevent the mascara transferring as much as possible, although I do find this mascara does transfer a little bit to the under eye area throughout the day, which is definitely a slight downside. Um, I also find that if applied too heavily, it might flake off just a tiny little bit. There might be one or two specks of mascara. But anyway, negatives out of the way. This is a really nice mascara in terms of its buildability, in terms of the volume it gives, and in terms of the length that it gives. Obviously, the shade is a nice black, but it's kind of... It's not too kind of dramatic, but it is very nice. Um, anyway, have a look at the brush because everybody likes mascara brushes of one kind or another. Um, I myself am not too fussy, but if I had to choose, I would probably say that my preference is this kind of more traditional bristle brush. brush. <laughs> the, um, the one itself is quite large, and that might be a little difficult to work with for some people. I find it quite easy to work with, and I enjoy applying this mascara. It's definitely very buildable and you can certainly apply a layer and then apply another layer and apply another layer and you won't have any problems except maybe just a tiny little bit of flaking. Like as you can see now, there are just a tiny few specks, I don't know if you can see, but there are a tiny few black specks that I've collected under my eye area. Overall, I do like this mascara. I wouldn't necessarily rush out and buy it as such, but it is a nice one to have and I do find that it suits my lashes which are quite sparse and quite thin and not that long. I do find that it suits them quite well and does help to build up quite a dramatic effect if I apply enough and if I curl my lashes beforehand. So it's definitely a decent mascara, one I like, one I've been using a lot and one I will continue to use until it's all gone. So that's it for this little review video, thank you very much for watching and see you again soon. Bye for now.